And the essence of that is the fact that artists have more opportunities to come to market in the early days, and therefore the major is becoming more of a distributor, less of a, a rights holder. But the major can also evolve and, like you said, have that two-tier system where they can start incubating as well in these different, you know, with an artist's kind of service-led model for independent artists, and then hopefully take over those licensing deals as they grow. Yeah, or potentially, or, you know, or, or become a fund in the sense that, I mean, I don't think you'll ever go back to the traditional, we're a rights holder business. I think that's gone. You know, we'll borrow your rights for a period of time. But I think, again, less and less about, you know, we have rights in perpetuity. Now, that's not to say, you know, again, you've got a sort of uh, a real growth in, because of streaming, which provides a high degree of stability now, which was never there in music, certainly not in, in, in master recording music. Publishing is a slightly different story, but in terms of masters. And it's kind of there now where, you know, catalogs have a, as you see, through companies like Hypnosis who, you know, raised over a billion dollars to acquire interest in publishing catalogs. You can see other companies doing in masters. <coughs> you know, you're seeing significant private equity funds who never look at music as a serious asset class, definitely look at it as a serious asset class right now because A, they see growth and B, they see a relative degree of stability about it, which was never there before. Now that's nothing to stop, you know, any of the majors. In fact, actually Warners have partnered with, um, God, I can't remember who the private equity bank is actually, but they partner with a bank to, to basically say, right, we can identify assets for this fund to acquire. We are basically drawing down using our expertise. Universal itself can say, okay, you know, we may not have rights in perpetuity, but we can make you an offer after that time, after your exploration of your catalog, which may be attractive enough for you to say, okay, yes, and that's how we're going to build the business. We're going to, that's how we're going to be back into the rights ownership business. Uh, you know, companies like Cobalt, which is an independent, a big independent aggregator, have a fund on the side. So they are acquiring uh, rights, uh, long-term rights to, to um, master and publishing acquisitions. But it's a different kind of relationship. That's now, you know, it's not about, you know, we acquire the rights from the get-go. It's about, right, we built this business to the point we understand its value. We can make you a, a very attractive offer to acquire rights if you choose to sell that. 